Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video. And in this video, we're going to do another why I sold it video. For those that don't know, I occasionally do videos on items that I have sold that I have actually reviewed in this channel before in the past. So I have done a review of these before. These are the Focal CMS50 Studio Monitor speakers. And I did recently sell them. And so I'm going to talk about why I sold them in this video. And the video that you're looking at here is uh, the visuals from my original review video of these speakers. And then I'm doing an audio voiceover over that video. So I sold these speakers mainly because they were a little bit too heavy. I have a sit-stand desk now, and I was kind of exceeding the weight limit of the sit-stand desk with these speakers. Each speaker, I believe, weighs something like 17 pounds. So multiply that times two, and you have whatever 17 pounds times two is, is what you had. And plus, I recently added the Apple um, Pro XDR display and stand, and, that I, and also the Mac Studio, and replaced my 5K iMac with those items on my sit-stand desk. And all of that added some weight as well. And so I found that uh, just the desk that I have didn't raise up very well anymore. It was just getting a little bit heavy. So I figured something had to go, and I was kind of thinking about uh, replacing the speakers anyway because they also had some other little negatives with them as well. Um, they had a little bit of a high noise floor when you weren't playing anything. You could kind of hear a little bit of a hiss. And also I felt like I didn't really need such good studio monitors um, because I'm not doing oftentimes, because oftentimes I'm not doing that critical listening on speakers. When I want to listen critically, I will actually just switch to headphones. So I figured I could sell these speakers, get something lighter, and you know that still sounds good, of course, and um, something cheaper as well. So I ended up selling the Focal CMS50 speakers and getting the Yamaha HS5 speakers, which I will be reviewing in another video. And I have to say the price to performance ratio on the Yamaha HS5 speakers is really great because for a pair of those, it's about $400. And a pair of the Focal speakers, when they were sold, but the you know the CMS50 is a model that they no longer sell. But when they were for sale, those speakers retailed for over six hundred dollars. I think six hundred, about six hundred and twenty dollars or something like that for each one. So a pair of those was literally over twelve hundred dollars. So for something like three times less money, I have speakers that to me sound just as good. Actually, surprisingly, now the Yamaha speakers have a cheaper build quality they're made with mdf wood and the focals were actually made out of metal and stuff like that the focals are made in france the yamahas were made or are made in indonesia and stuff like that so they're not quite as a good build quality but to me the yamaha hs5 studio monitors really do have a sweet sound and i will talk about that uh, when i review them but they do have kind of this magical sweet sound to them and really represent a great bang for buck for only about $400 for the pair. So yeah, that's something that I will also address when I do a review video on those speakers. So I've been really happy with them for the price paid, you know, $400 versus $1,200, and the $400 speakers actually sound a little bit better to me. Um, you know, they both sound really great. They're both great studio monitors, but I think the Focals are a bit overpriced for what you get versus the Yamahas. So I was able to get a fairly good price on the Focal Studio monitors when I sold them, although I did still lose money versus, of course, when I bought them new several years ago. But on the other hand, I did, you know, use them for several years and really enjoyed them for several years. So, um, you know, in, in the end, I think it worked out pretty well in terms of uh, me selling them now and getting something that is more suitable for my current setup. And you can see the link in the top right for my original review of the Focal CMS50 studio monitors um, that I did a few years ago. But note that those speakers aren't made anymore. Focal doesn't make those speakers anymore. I think they discontinued the whole CMS line, unfortunately. Um, they are a good line. They're quite heavy speakers though, um, but they are a good line. They're made in France. They have a metal build quality, you know, metal housing, not wood. So if you're curious about those, do check out my prior review of those that I do have linked up there. And also stay subscribed and stay tuned for an upcoming review of uh, my new Yamaha HS5 studio monitor speakers. 
So this has been my why I sold it video for the Focal CMS50 studio monitor speakers. Again, they were good speakers. In some ways, I was sad to see them go, but uh, again, they didn't really fit my current setup and my home office as well as I would have liked. Otherwise, I would have kept them. They did sound really good, um, but I'm also happy with the cheaper speakers that I have replaced them with. So thanks for watching this video, and for any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And stay subscribed and stay tuned for my upcoming review of my new speakers. See you in my next video.